In our last video, we saw how to create an instance of Nextcloud using Docker Compose. We used the base version of Apache. The base version does not include all of the additional tools that we want or services. For example, we want to use Redis, which is a caching service to speed up the functionality of Nextcloud. The documentation gives us the environment variables that we can use. Unfortunately, the Nextcloud Docker image has changed and it will not work using these instructions here. We need to add additional configurations to it that I will show you how to do. One of the changes is that it requires a Redis host password. We cannot use this without additional configurations in Redis itself, but those commands or references are not mentioned here. The first thing we need to do is to edit our Docker Compose YAML file. We are in our next cloud Docker directory. We can verify this by doing PWD to give us the full path. Nano next cloud, oops, nano Docker Compose. There are several things we need to do. We need to add the Redis host environment variable here. We need to add Redis service here, and then we need to link them. Let's begin with the Redis service first of all. We will use the official image from Redis with the latest tag. We want the container to always restart. Now we need to link it. In order to use Redis host, we need to create an environment section, the same that is in DB. And this is going to be called Redis host. We need to give this a name. This is going to be the name of this service, Redis. Now take note of the syntax for a variable within the environment and other key value pairs. Sometimes it uses a colon like it does on the port but the environment it uses an equals. It's not going to work, but let's try it anyhow so we can debug the process. Let's save and exit. We have to stop it first of all. And then we will start it again. We can verify that it is running by using the command docker ps and we will see it right here. Next cloud docker redis. When I refresh this page, I am going to expect it to crash. 
internal server error. Unfortunately, the documentation does not say that Redis host password must be used. It just says not set by default. We can determine if Redis is the problem or not. Is it being used or not? We can use Redis CLI to monitor the Redis data. But first of all, we need to get the IP address of this container here. So docker inspect the container that we want to get the IP address for. And this is the IP address right here. Redis CLI, we have to specify this particular host because we don't have Redis on local host. Even if we did, we were not using it. So we want to use this particular host and we will give it a ping to say, can we connect to it, which we did. Now we can monitor the traffic. It says, okay, waiting for data. If we refresh this page, if next cloud is trying to use Redis, we will see data here. And we do just as a get exists, get, get, get. And next cloud is not able to use this data because a recent change as of the time of this vi video, Nextcloud requires a password. So let's set a password in our Docker Compose YAML file. We need the key value pair Redis host password and we need to give it a password. Some pass here. We will put this in in a few minutes. If you look at the Redis documentation, you will find that we have to use another configuration here. We have to use a specific command that tells Redis that this instance is encrypted using a password. It requires a password. So command Redis survey require pass secret. Well, we don't want to use secret, this is just some generic text. We want to use a strong password. Let's take this one. So this instance of Redis uses this password. Now we need to put the same password up here. This will tell next cloud connect to Redis using this password. So let's save and exit. We will restart. We need to get the new IP address because this one no longer works. It has changed. It could be the same, but it's unlikely. So 172.21.03.
we can try to connect to it here, but it is going to fail because it says it now requires authentication. So we have to put in the password using the authentication flag. Let me copy the, uh, the password again. We know that we can connect to our Redis instance using a password. The same password is in our next cloud configuration. Now, Let's monitor our Redis service to see if it is working correctly or not. When we refresh our page, we should see a whole lot more data than we saw before. More importantly, this internal server error should be gone. And now you can see that Redis is working correctly. If we go to our administration page to overview, it'll tell us that there are some things wrong. Namely, we are accessing it insecurely using HTTP. Unfortunately, we cannot configure HTTPS unless we modify the next cloud image. We have to enable HTTPS in Apache, which requires us to rebuild the image. We will not do this now, but you will learn the process in the next lab. For this lab, you learned how to add the Redis service to the next cloud docker compose yaml file and configure it and set a password.